Time for my bacon and Brussels sprout pasta salad. Most people don't think of combining Brussels sprouts in a pasta salad, but I thought with the bacon, it works really well and it's delicious. I've already started on my Brussels sprouts, basically just taking the leaves off the Brussels sprouts and we're gonna blanch them in the same water that we cook the pasta in. So it makes it really easy and you don't have to dirty a whole other pan. And you could use the whole Brussels sprout if you wanted to, you just needed to blanch it a little bit longer. So the pasta water is still boiling, so we're just gonna stick these in there. And what we're doing is we're not really cooking them as much as we're just warming them through and softening them ever so slightly so they don't have that raw flavor. And we just kind of let them blanch for just a few seconds. And I'm gonna skip ice bathing them. All I wanna do really is warm them through but still hold on to their green color. Bacon looks good. We can turn that off and we're gonna pull out the Brussels sprouts. There we go. Really short, but you see how beautiful and green they still are? But they're softened and warmed through, which is all you need. I really love the color combo of this pasta salad. It's very fall with the Brussels sprouts and the bacon, but you wanna keep that beautiful green color of the Brussels sprouts. Food should look as bright and happy as it can. There we go. See how pretty that is? Spread them out on the baking sheet. The baking sheet just helps cool everything off a lot faster. I'm just gonna use a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a third of a cup of fresh apple cider vinegar. I love it because it's a nice sort of sweet, light vinegar, so it won't overpower anything. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. The mustard gives it a nice, rich flavor, which I think will work really well with the bacon and the Brussels sprouts. A little bit of salt, and we'll grab a little whisk here, and we're gonna do olive oil. Just mix this together and add the olive oil right in. So about three quarter cup of olive oil in here. And the last thing we're gonna add to this is some Parmesan cheese. Some Parmigiano right in there. Gotta have some Parmigiano, right? With the pasta. Oh, that smells good. Mix it in, just like that. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the pasta and the Brussels sprouts that have cooled, and we're gonna add it right in here. There we go. I'm gonna run it off the board quickly. We're gonna grab the bacon. It's sort of a winning combination in here. It's applewood smoked, so it's got a nice smell to it. And then, we toss it all together. Make sure you toss it really well and you go to the bottom so that the dressing can really coat all of the orecchietti, all the Brussels sprouts, and all the bacon. And look how pretty it is. All right, so the last little garnish we're gonna add is some pomegranates. And I just like the pomegranates because they remind me of fall, and they remind me of the holidays, and they give it like a little sparkle, a little jewel. All right, so let's just taste it, make sure that the flavors are good. A little bit of everything. Mm -mm -mm. That bacon is heavily in this pasta. Is it good? Yes. Okay. The pasta salad is good. You like that pasta salad? I figured that it's a good one. Salad. <laughs>